Hey everyone, welcome to the front row with Ed. Uh, today I got a short video to help you stretch your hand, forearm, bicep, and then the pecs. Okay, it's a particularly good stretch, especially if you have anyone or if you know of anyone that has a numbness or tingling in your hand. Okay, because that could be median nerve tension. Okay, and the reason why that becomes important is because we got a big bundle of nerves that goes right underneath the pecs travels down through here and that's the one that can be responsible for carpal tunnel so i have all my carpal tunnel patients at least try this to see if they can tolerate it okay so let's walk through it on both sides so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start close into the wall with your hand about shoulder height fingers pointed behind here and your thumb tucked in start walking it back until you start to get a little bit of a stretch somewhere in the arm okay once it's a comfortable stretch what i want you to do is turn the outside shoulder away that brings the pecs into it a little bit, okay? And then once the pecs are into it, you turn your head away. And that tensions up the whole arm. And what you'll do is, under tension, slowly turn your head about three to five times. What that does is it adds a neurodynamic component to it. So I want you to visualize that you're kind of flossing that nerve. Now you might get some numbness, tingling in the hand, as long as it's tolerable, okay? For about 15, 20 seconds, if it's too much, then you just back off just a little bit on that stretch, okay? After the three to five head turns, you're gonna hold that position for about a 30 second count, okay? Now, it's not uncommon to get some numbness and tingling while you're doing it, but don't worry, you know, it'll go right away. Okay, let's try the other side. So what you'll do is you start off first with your hand pointed, fingers pointed away, thumb tucked in. You're gonna walk back until you start to get a little bit of a stretch somewhere in the arm, okay? Keeping the elbow locked. Then you're going to slowly turn your shoulder away this way, and that brings the pecs into it, and then you turn your head away. And then what you'll do is about three to five times with the head turn. After the fifth one, you're going to hold that position for about a 20 second, 30 second count. Repeat that a couple times on each side, and if you can, repeat that throughout the day. Now your goal on this is to break perpendicular. What do I mean by that? I have some patients that are so tight okay that they're stuck right about here okay break perpendicular means you're perpendicular to the wall and you're able to break that and then turn your head away and get a good stretch but do not feel any neural symptoms in the hand okay so give that a try make sure you share this video with anyone that works on a computer all day long or might start getting some numbness or tingling in the hands especially at night sometimes this can help okay leave me a comment down below if you have any questions Good luck.